There now follows a party political broadcast on behalf of the Independent Ireland Party. My name is Mikey Collins, TD, leader of Independent Ireland, the fastest growing political movement in this country with 24 councillors, three TDs and one MEP. It's time for real change in Irish politics. Hardworking families are struggling to make ends meet, only to see taxpayers' money continuously wasted, followed by government excuses and zero accountability. Rural Ireland has been left behind, and farmers and fishermen have been consistently let down by successive government. But no, the people of Ireland have a choice. There is a better way. Myself, TDs Richard Ardeno and Michael Fitzmaurice, alongside independent Ireland candidates across the country, are here to offer a new vision for Ireland that puts families, workers and our communities first. We are a party that has been built by working together to find common sense solutions for a better Ireland. Vote Independent Ireland number one and together we can build a better future. For more on our policies and vision, please visit independentireland.ie. Foy criticised Green Party housing spokesman for objecting to development near his home as Taoiseach and Thornishton meet on the campaign trail. And Limerick actor and comedian John Kenny has died at the age of 66. A number of proposals have been announced by political parties as the general election campaign heads into its second week. Fianna Gael and Fianna Fáil are promising to raise the state pension to at least €350, Euro, while Sinn Féin launched several childcare policy proposals. The Green Party, meanwhile, faced questions over an objection lodged by its housing spokesperson to plans for new homes near his own home. Looking over their shoulders at one another and nowhere more so than in Kerry, where Fianna Fáil is eyeing a Fine Gael seat. Does this mean an end to hostilities after a week of bickering between the two? The last government worked well together. We were able to deliver five budgets together. We were able to do many things that I'm proud of in terms of helping to steer our country through COVID, through a major inflationary crisis, having put a lot of money back in people's pockets, including right now. Uh, so I have no intention of rewriting history. I was pleased and proud to work uh, with Fianna Fáil in government. The smaller coalition party was the subject of today's criticism after a report that the Green Party housing spokesperson, Francis Noel Duffy, objected to a 300 unit housing development. We should as elected representatives put housing as our number one priority um, and, and avoid all of these objections as much as we possibly can because they're getting in the way uh, of housing projects. As they launched a disability strategy, the Green Party were on the defensive. I do think it is legitimate where we have a planning system and where we have a, a planning system that sets out the type of houses that go in a particular area if a, a member of the public or indeed an elected representative thinks that the local area plan has been breached it's legitimate for that for for him or her to make a submission to that on that basis the Sinn Féin leader was in Galway where she launched a plan for 10 euro a day child care she was seeking to be the adult in the room when it came to election quarrels. I don't think that anybody buys uh, the sham battle between uh, Michal Martin and Simon Harris. They have been bedfellows for a very, very long time. And in fact, I think they were caught today kissing and making up. <laughs> 12 days left in this campaign before it'll be time for the parties to grab their partners and form a government. And Mary joins us now in studio. So Mary, have the parties kissed and made up? Well, Simon Harris is saying that he doesn't want any more rula boulia between the two parties. Micheál Martin, for his part, has called for a toning down of the attacks. And while that encounter uh, between the pair of them in Clorin looked maybe slightly awkward to some, there is a sense now that their focus will shift to this argument that stability is what the country needs, that, the, that we're approaching um, some international turbulence. Uh, the policies of the incoming US President Donald Trump are yet unknown and what's needed is, uh, you know, better the devil you know rather than better the devil you don't know. And Fine Gael will be launching their manifesto tomorrow. And I think you'll see perhaps from then on uh, 
that party at least turning their fire to Sinn Féin instead of their outgoing coalition partners. Mary Regan, thanks very much for that.